Well, I'm really grateful to Brian Goldsmith for sending through some thoughts on Isaiah 12. Funnily enough, that's just a passage that came up just very recently, as I'm sure you all know. But Brian wants us to know today that it is the shortest chapter in the book of Isaiah. And in these difficult days that we are going through, there are many things that could depress the believer. So Brian's saying to us today through this passage to try and identify with the prophet's uplifting words. And here's some things Brian sort of pointed out for us today. In verse one, praise is the Christian's vital breath. So he says, make sure Isaiah's words are yours. Find causes to praise God. Thank you, Lord, for example, that I'm no longer under condemnation, that I'm saved. Verse two, he is my strength and my song and my salvation is found only in Jesus. That's always a precious thing to remember when we feel that we're really going through it. Verse three of the passage, show the joy that flows from those wells of salvation. That little phrase we've heard only recently, the wells of salvation, show the joy that flows from the wells of salvation. They're bottomless and they never dry up. Verse four, in times of uncertainty and even fear, we are to call upon his name. There's no set time when we need to do that. In daylight or darkness, anywhere in between, we are allowed to call upon his name. For God is always there to hear you and to hear me. And Brian also wants to encourage us with this. We need to share with other people the preciousness of our dear Saviour. Sadly, he, he writes, there are, these are the areas in which many Christians fail. They remain silent and they're not vocal enough about their beliefs. The words declare, King James Version, proclaim, the NIV, are both doing words. So we need to be a proclaiming people about the preciousness of our saviour and exalt his holy name. Verse five, turn your confidence in a loving God into a song. Praise him at every opportunity for the excellent things he has done and continues to do. Don't fail to make him known wherever you go. There's that same idea there of making sure we make God known wherever we go. And then verse six, be a little more vocal than you have been up to now. Turn up the volume, cry out and shout. Don't keep silent inhabitants of Bognor Regis and anywhere around here, of course. Why? Because God, Jesus, is worth it. The Holy One is in our midst. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Funny, that's the verse we had only the other day as well. I will never leave you or forsake you. So don't stop praising is what Brian exhorts us to do. Amen. Thanks, Brian, for sharing those lovely words with us. And we are really grateful for your insights today.